full-size battery box. Got your blow-off valve. And get your stainless exhaust. Get your two-inch feet into each side of your head. This is your antifreeze line. Antifreeze tank. Dual fuel tanks, one for each engine. Each line comes over, comes in here. Got a mesh filter there. Back up a little here. Got your toolboxes. Got your gun holder right there. Just kind of do a little walk around here on the video. Got a lot of wind up here in central Wyoming. Connector on both tanks. Got your full size drain. We'll kind of go over there and your remote control start there. Back on this back corner, you got your uh, hydraulic system 13 horse Honda. Honda, you got your rear lights right here, go on and off. So you can see down the hole hydraulic control on off with your hydraulic control. Lots of power on this hydraulic reel. Full one inch line here on the hydraulic hose reel. Rear gauge, here's your other light. Here's your valving. Simple as pie. Yellow valve goes to a discharge for a power washer, or you don't like a power washer. This line's on and off. Most all this is one inch. Here's your unloader valve, easy to get at, easy to adjust, no problems there. Uh, dual lines in. Dual lines back is for our pump saver. Easy startup relief valve that goes up into the tank right there. Fast fill. Other tank control that feeds the other side of the pump. We're gonna walk up. There's your hook up there, fuel up there, filter for this side. Comes back around. This is a 40 gallon a minute, 2000 psi. Also has the ability to run at 20 at 2,000, so it's a very unique build. Inside there, you can kind of see the triple V belts on each pump. You've got the full high-rise mufflers on each engine to compensate for altitude and uh, easy to service, easy to work on. Great, great motors. Best motor in our opinion, and uh, gasoline made. By uh, Toyota. Uh, Vanguard owns the company, so it's a division of uh, Briggs and Strat. Next video, I'll go over operation real quick. For operation, first fill your water tank. Make sure both your valves on each side of your tank are open. This is the water valve that feeds up to the pump. We'll kind of walk up to it. So make sure that that line is on, which it's on. Make sure your antifreeze line is off. That's your antifreeze tank. Check your fluid levels. Make sure you got petrol. Check your pump oil. That you got to check pretty regular, not too bad. Engine oil, if you're running a lot, of course, check that engine oil. Don't let it run out. Uh, battery should be just fine. So first you want your water on, antifreeze off, your chokes right here on your engines, whether you're going to start them with remote control or start them with key start, it's your option. This motor's number one, it starts first, and then the other one on the remote. Uh, the, the next thing before you start them, make sure your water's on. We're going to walk around, try not to make you too dizzy is we want to make sure on your valving that your easy start valves open that's with the line this is off this is on with the line you want to make sure your line that's feeding your hose reel is in the off position it's labeled off and on there's on there's off make sure that this line over here is off or you'll be taking a bath so let's assume that you've started the engines. You also want to have your throttle 
down right here both your throttles in the off position or, or low idle start it with low idle and then you're ready to start so go ahead and start then make sure you follow all your safety precautions good boots good gloves eye protection back here is the hydraulic unit it's good to get that started warmed up start your engines let those warm up for a minute or two let all that kind of warm up get the fluids flowing your control for your hose reel valves right here so once you start you want it and you've warmed up and you've placed the nozzle in the in the uh, pipe you're cleaning um, you, you need need to shut off your supply line which is right here your your uh, bypass line your easy startup valve close that line you'll hear the unloader kick in and then you're ready to jet turn that line on and this is a two-man operation we want to throttle up once that hose is in the line so once that hose is in the line uh, then you're ready to go and clean your pipe when you're done uh, preferably throttle down then open up up this line let the pressure off close your close your line right here that feeds the hose reel you can just follow these lines up and uh, you're ready to shut down if it's freezing temp close your water line which is right here on both both engines close that line we're gonna walk over here open up the antifreeze lines restart the engine until you see antifreeze come out at the end of the hose and that's this line right here you see it come up you can follow the antifreeze line up and once that antifreeze starts flowing back uh, go ahead and shut her down and then to recapture the antifreeze you just follow the same same rule you run this line here when you're running it on idle and that'll flow water out you want uh, you've got I mean you've got it full of antifreeze until you see the water come out as soon as you see water flowing shut her down you don't want to dilute that antifreeze out and that's your operation
think that's dialed in about right. The engine sound good. They are, you want them to strain, but... Your biggest amount of strain? Right here at the tail where we put hole on. From there to about here. Then you got a little canal that goes up that either head. Just kind of work it a little bit once this is opened up. You'll clean it right out. Most of them that I've been to, I've set about a two-foot hole right off the edge of the tie. But this one is the one that I'm not trying to do. Just give it a little drain. That's all we need. 